How did it feel being like outside in the forest? Like you know? good. good. Is first if we went to the um um night hike and we saw the full moon and the star and we made a fire and ate some marshmallows. Mm -hmm. It's been a blast because we wasn't like in school doing work and stuff. We was like in the uh, forest learning about stuff, seeing animals. How does it feel being out in the forest or in nature? It feels relaxing because I kind of do that every single day. I go outside in the tree and the birds like do those signs and that it relaxes me. Love the earth! Love the earth! Love the sky! Love the sky! Heat the fire! Heat of fire! Drop of water! Drop of water! I can feel it! I can Did anybody learn how to build a fire? Me? Yes. Y'all learn how to build fires? We had to get like the what is it called? Matches. Twigs. The twigs? twigs? Yeah, the kindling, the, the tinder. And put them in a pile in the middle. I do step two, take dry sticks and put them all around, stack them up and use a Y stick to stack them all up. And then I use I use the Step three, put rocks around it. Oh, okay, it's beautiful. And so, I, all I had to do was take a match, put it on there so he catches on the lead, and then I'll set the fire onto the steps. I actually very, very much like making my own fire. I made the first fire for the village. Circle. The village at night. Oh yeah, yeah, we work together. I like the fire because like, when you said collect the firewood, I went all the way back and picked up a whole dead tree. We tried like to make uh, fires, but it didn't work. But we just kept on trying, and and then we finally made a fire, and then we made s'mores. I showed some people how to make a fire since I already knew how to. Oh, when did you learn how to make a fire? Um, during Pearl Stone Summer Camp. During Pearl Stone Summer Camp. So you learned last summer and now you're teaching, you were helping teach the other uh, students how to make a fire? What was your feeling while making the fire and what was your feeling after you got it lit? After I got it lit, I was like celebrating with my partners that was helping me making a fire. Teamwork, right? Yeah. Yeah, teamwork. teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah, teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah, Dylan. <laughs> High ropes because I tried the first floor, then the second floor, and I went all the way up. Basically, you have like three levels. One is like the first one is not that scary. The second one was okay. The third one's a little tricky because when you get on the rope thing, it's gonna get confusing at first because you're gonna get stuck. Yeah, they, they were challenging. Mm -hmm. Like as you went up each level, uh, yeah, they got a lot harder, more challenging. Harder and harder. Good job, guys. All right, I'm gonna tip off, and then you can come where I am. Okay. Do you have any words of wisdom? Hi. Hi. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling good. How were you feeling before? Scared. Scared. Mm -hmm. But you're overcoming your fears up here? Kind of. Kind of. Mm -hmm. You feel a little bit more confident in your abilities? Yeah. I'm proud of you, Jasmine. Thank you. Great work today. Thank you. Do you feel more confident now mm -hmm. um, that you could do it in the future? Yeah. yeah, I feel like you could do it better next time. Yeah, I like when we went on a night hike because, well, at first I was asking him, could we bring flashlights? But he said no flashlights because once you start walking and everything, your your night vision is turn on or yeah, something. Yeah, uh huh. So I didn't believe it at first. But then once we started walking, like, got deep into the woods, it started appearing, and I could see stuff. It was just really, like, your, light. Your, so your eyes adjusted yeah, and your night like, vision turned on? 
I would say having to sleep in the cabin. Was that one of your favorite experiences, sleeping yeah. in the cabins? Yes. Hey, 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 hey,